Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I'm going to be trying out makeup products that I haven't used in a while. So these are basically products I haven't used in months or maybe even a year. I'm just basically trying them out, seeing if I still love them, and basically if I should keep them in my collection any longer. This is the look I came up with, so I hope you guys stick around to see what products I use, and let's get started. I'm really sorry if you can hear all the machinery in the background. I think they're like, I don't know, doing construction or something outside my window, so that's fine. This necklace doesn't want to sit correctly. Babe, you got this. Yay! All right, so I think I figured out the foundation I'm gonna use. This is the Revlon Color Stay Normal to Dry foundation. I'm not really normal to dry, but oh well, it's basically the oldest foundation that I've had, and I used to love this foundation even in the uh, normal to dry one. So we're just gonna try it out and see how it goes. I don't know why I pumped this on my hand when I have a glass dish, and I didn't do primer. Okay, I'm gonna like try and transfer this onto the glass dish. So for primer today, I'm gonna use the Baby Skin Maybelline Primer. This is the Instant Pore Eraser. I haven't used this one in a long time. I used to love this. It really cancels out your pores. It's more of a silicone primer. You probably have heard of this a lot because a lot of people use it. Now we're gonna go in with the foundation. I'm just gonna use my normal L'Oreal sponge. I don't know why I did that. I really didn't have any product on there. And I'm just going to go into this foundation. It has decent coverage, kind of like medium coverage. Really nice, it's more of a liquidy formula. I think that looks super nice on the skin. I kind of forgot how this applied and everything. Um, the color is really good. This is definitely dewy though, so not the best for this time of year, but we're gonna make it work. I really don't have too many concealers that are kind of older, but I will use the Sephora Bright Future Concealers, their gel serum one. This is in the shade Custer. I haven't used this in a while. Um, it hasn't been that long, but we'll just use this one because I don't have anything super old. All right, and then I'm just gonna blend that all out. Nothing too new here. Okay, then I just saw this in here and I remember I remember I used to basically cream contour all the time with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. So I'm just going to use this in the shade Cafe. So all I do is just basically draw little tiny lines. I don't really go too crazy with this. And then I just take my sponge and I pat it out like that. It's basically a super natural uh, contour, which is nice. I love it. It's not as ashy or anything. And since it is that concealer, it blends super nicely on the skin. If you didn't know, under your lip, contouring will just make it look a lot more full. So I love doing that trick. Ooh, yes, that nose contour though. Dang, forgot how much I loved contouring with that. To set the under eyes, I'm gonna use the Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Instant Retouch Powder. I used to use this all the time last summer. That's when I got it. I'm just gonna dab away any creases underneath the eyes and then set it with that powder. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna do the nose lightly. Basically gonna do the whole T-zone with that powder because it is more of a mattifying powder. To set the rest of the face, I'm gonna use this Fit Me powder. Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade Classic Ivory. Ooh, I haven't used this in a while. Okay, we'll use this for bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder in the shade Fiji. This is the Morphe E3 brush.
I am going to use this blush because why not? So we'll just take this on my E4 from Morphe as well. Dab off the excess and lightly put this on the cheek. For a highlight, I'm going to use one of my old favorites. This is the Physician's Formula uh, Shimmer Strips in Riviera Strip. So basically has just all these different colors of highlights and I usually stick to more of these three right here. Um, I'm going to take my M501 like usual and dip in there. I used to love this so much, but then I got into more other, like a, just a bunch of other highlights. So I just kind of forgot about it, honestly. And then like always, I'm just going to go over it lightly with my sponge, just so that it melds with the skin. We don't want it to look chunky or anything. So I'm going for a real throwback. I feel like I might not like this palette as much as I used to. I loved this so much when I was basically, let's focus please. I used to love the Naked 3 palette when I was first getting into makeup more, but now since I've tried so many different eyeshadow palettes, I don't know how much I'm going to like. Okay, actually before we get started with the eyeshadow, I'm going to do my brows just to get them having some shapes. So this is the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil and I have mine in the Shurd Soft Brown. And I used to love this like, I don't know, maybe in the winter, like multiple, multiple months ago, like six months maybe. And I haven't used it in forever. I remember it being really nice and easy and just kind of fast. Okay, so first shade I'm going to take is limit right here in the palette it's just going to be our transition shade so far so good with blending and everything it looks very pretty basically how i remember those rosy tones you know now i'm going to dip into this shade right here called nooner this is basically just going to be our deeper shade in the crease I'm just going to bring these on both sides right here just so I can make a little bit more of a halo eye. I haven't done that in a while, so bring that into the inner corner. Now I'm going to deepen it up a little bit with this brown shade right here. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, now I'm going to take this shade right here, focus, this one right here called Dust, and I'm going to put that on the lid. It is more of a shimmery shade, so I'm just going to use my finger. Quite a bit of fallout, which I expected because it was very shimmery. Okay, that failed. I have glitter all over my lid, or all over my face. So now I'm just going to go in with a setting spray to make sure it actually sticks. Alright, I'm basically just going to put the same shades on the lower lash line. Those first two shades we used mainly. Just like a little bit on the lower lash line. Overall, I do still like this palette though. It's pretty pretty good still. And then for mascara, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I haven't used this in a while, so hopefully I still love it. Oh no! I can't believe I just did that. I'm just going to wait for it to dry before I wipe it off. That mascara looks really nice. I really like the mascara still. Okay, so I just remembered a lip combination that I used to do like 24-7. I don't think I started, I don't think I was doing this when I had my channel or I never did it on camera. Maybe I did, but I don't remember. So first I would go in with the Wet n Wild Just Peachy Lip Gloss. It's basically 
like a pinky corally color. So yeah, that's super bright. So I'd be like, oh, let me use a really pink lipstick. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Lipstick in Unending Kiss. So then I'll put this on top. I think this is what I did at least. I, I hope I'm not doing this wrong. Gosh, that's a lot of lipstick. That's better. And then to top it off, I would go in with the Kardashian Beauty Honey Stick. And it's called In the Flesh. I think this is Kardashian Beauty. Yeah, I don't know. I used to love this though. It had a, another lipstick with it that like, you can't buy this separately, but um, that came with it and I was obsessed. Uh, I would put this over top. Okay, this lip gloss needs to be tossed. There's like not very much left in it because I used it so much. So I'm gonna use another one that I used all the time. Okay, so this is the Milani lip gloss in Bare Secret. I used to use that all the time. That's a really pink lipstick. I don't know why I ever wore that. It's kind of cute though. All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I came up with this super pink girly look, but these are all using products that I haven't used in a really long time, just basically to see if I still love them, and I do, so I'm very happy with it. The foundation isn't necessarily my favorite, but everything else I think looks super, super flawless, and I love it. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel down below. And I will see you guys in a video very, very soon. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I'm going to be trying. I uh, hope you can't hear the lawnmowers. I thought they were done. <laughs>